Hi everyone. Kindness was our word of the week and I immediately thought of all of you. Because if you're sarcastic and smarmy and negative and grumpy and not willing to change or grow, you probably don't like my Facebook page. For those of you who fall into that category, I am probably the most irritating person you've ever met. And you know what? That is okay because I'm not everyone's cup of tea and neither are you and it's no big deal. But for those of us who are part of this little tribe of people who prefer sunshine and positivity and optimism and inspiration, you're also lovers of kindness. So here's the caveat for those of us that fall into this category. We tend to be givers and sometimes at the very expense of our own well-being. And we're great in that we give and don't expect in return, but for real relationships to work, that kindness and generosity has to be reciprocal. Otherwise, you're the only one rowing the boat. I marvel at people who say, I didn't know what to get them for their birthday, or I hate buying presents. Okay, here's the thing. You're just being selfish and self-centered. It is really easy to figure out what to buy people. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money at all. In fact, it doesn't have to cost anything. My sister, who is also very generous in every aspect of her life, is an artist, so she creates things that sit all over my desk. Like for my birthday, she did calligraphy on this rock, and it says Shambhala, which is like a spiritual place. And then she also sends me not so spiritual things, but they're funny. But she made this with her own hands, and I, she knows I love beautiful, unusual things, and she made it for me. I'm getting back to my point, which is, and you may want this video to go viral and send it to anyone who has bought you a gift certificate that meant nothing to you and you really wanted a good gift. This is not to make you feel bad, said person who received this video. This is just to give you a little eye opening. People give the kinds of things they want to get. So, People who know me know I love things that are wrapped in pretty boxes with pretty bows. I don't care if there is a turd inside. Well, actually I do. But even a lottery ticket inside a pretty box makes me go, yay, yippee. I'm also a card person. I send cards. I keep Hallmark and American Greetings and Carlton all in business. So if you want to delight me, send me a card. Don't complain. I don't know what to get you. Because really nice people like us are pretty easy to please. Kindness is just, oh, here's the other thing. It's interesting because the scriptures say what is desired in a man is kindness. It's interesting it doesn't say what is desired in a woman because truthfully we women tend toward the kind side of life. Not talking down at you guys. I'm just saying here's a little education that could help to boost your relationships a bit. Do you know what else is kind? Listening. Really listening. Engaging. And not just driving. Mm -hmm. Not just like looking at the phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not listening. That's not nice. That's not kind. Kindness is listening enough to hear what isn't said. The space between the words. Kindness is hearing someone say, oh, I would love to do blank. Or, oh, I wish I had time for blank. And then you go ahead and you jump in. You pick up on that cue and you do blank. It's a dance. Kindness is a dance. And that's how energy grows and strengthens in a relationship. And if you do not tend 
to a relationship, it's going to die. And you can't say, oh, me, oh, my, wah, wah, wah. They hurt me. No, you hurt it because you didn't do what they taught you in kindergarten, which is to do unto others as you would have done unto you. So if you are mystified by what to do to bless someone that's important to you, think about the last kind thing they did for you. That's your ticket. That's how they love to be treated and do that for them. And take a look at the people you're surrounding yourself with. Are you always the one picking up the tab or listening or following up with a, how you really doing? Check your relationships and make sure they're equitable because you know what? You are worth it. You wonderful, fabulous, fearless, wonderful people out there. You little spots of sunshine in Facebook land. I'm talking to you. Be as kind to yourself and expect the kindness that you give out from others. I'm all fired up today. <laughs> and how do we follow up kindness? Well, we're going to say a prayer right now. What's the word that we all need to have a really terrific week, which is what we all want. Ooh, I have two here. Which one should I pick? Mm, this one, right in the middle. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. I was having a conversation with a new friend recently and this word came up and she said, you know, you should really choose that for an upcoming word of the week. And I wanted to say, um, <clears throat> I don't just pick the words purposefully, I pick them at random and the universe tells me what to pick. And so obviously the universe was speaking, Stacy, surrender. Okay, so maybe my little rant indicated something that I need to let go of. Because until you let go of something, it can torment you. And while there are lessons in life that are instructive. You hold on to the lesson, but you ditch the experience. The feeling of disappointment is not serving you or me. So with my little take on kindness, let's also move on to then honey. Ah, oh, here, I don't have a white flag on me, but I do have a napkin. Wave it. Let it go. Do some spring or summer or early fall cleaning this week and say, if it's not serving me, I'm surrendering it. Okay. That's all part of a new day dawning and a new life beginning, isn't it? We sometimes feel that if we let it go, then that's letting other people off the hook too easily. And actually the only person you're letting off the hook when you surrender is yourself, is myself. I hear you universe. Here's to a week where we choose to unclench our fists and let go. Have a good one, everyone.